Hello everyone, Oscar here, and I'm going to blast through this related rates problem with a ladder falling down the side of a house. So there's a lot of parts to it. I'm gonna go kind of fast. If you have any questions, you could feel free to reach out to me or just write a comment underneath the question. So let me start off just by switching my camera here so that you could see my paper. And let me make it full video. So to begin, kind of with all related rates problems, we want to start off with what we know. So we know that the height of this ladder is 25 feet, which I put as H for the hypotenuse, because this ladder is leaning up against a wall and forms a right triangle here. So I'm going to name the horizontal length X and the vertical Y. We also know that this ladder, the bottom edge is going away from the wall at two feet per second. In other words, that dx dt, dx over dt equals two. And we want to find out how fast this ladder is falling, or we want to find out what dy dt is. So one relationship that we also know is x squared plus y squared equals h squared. If I take the derivative with respect to time of both sides, then what I can find by using the chain rule, the chain rule is important here. When you apply the chain rule to this x squared, you get 2x dx over dt plus, and you can read the rest. So we want to find out what dy dt is when x equals 15. That's the first part of the problem. But we have this equation and we don't know what y is. We can easily find it though with the Pythagorean theorem and solve for y. We know that x equals 15 and that the h, the hypotenuse, is 25. So we get that x equals 15 and y equals 20 from this relationship. So now we can plug in all of our terms and solve for dy over dt. And once you do that, you find that dy over dt equals negative 3 over 2. So now you have to do the same thing when x equals 20. We have to find out first what y equals when x equals 20. So we use the same equation, y squared equals 15, eventually. So then we again plug in all of our numbers and solve for dy dt. And what you find is that dy dt is equal to negative 8 over 3. And that's feet per second. Those are the units. So that's the first part. The second part is to find out how the area changes with respect to time. So we know that the area is 1 half of the base times the height. See, 1 half base x times the height y. 1 half base times height. So to find out how the area changes with respect to time, I'm simply going to take the derivative dA over dt and apply that to both sides. So I get one half, and again, we're applying the chain rule and the product rule. So we have to take first the derivative of this times this plus the derivative of this times this. So we get dx over dt times y plus dy over dt times x. And we can then plug in because we know what dx over dt is. We know what y equals when x equals 20, that's 15, and we know what dy over dt is when x equals 20, and here x equals 20, so then you eventually get negative 11.6 repeating. So the area is shrinking, which makes sense because this ladder is going from here and then it's eventually going to go flat with no area. Number three asks to find the rate of change of the angle in between the ladder and the wall, so this angle with respect to time. Again, we know that the hypotenuse is 25 and that this is going this way at 2 feet per second. And we know that x equals 20. That's given in the problem. We need to find out what the rate of change of this is when x equals 20. So remember that the sign of this theta is opposite over hypotenuse. So that's 20 over 25. And we can find out what that angle is by taking the inverse sign of this 20 over 25. So that would be 53 degrees. Now, if we go back to this top equation, 
and take the derivative with respect to time of both sides, we can find out what d theta over dt is. So after I apply that, again, it's the chain rule. So this is going to be cosine of theta times d theta d over dt equals 20 over 25 dx over dt. So we know that if we solve for d theta dt, that would be um, 1 over 25 times 2. And I forgot to actually insert the 20 here. So we know that dx over dt equals 2. We know that x equals 20. And after plugging all that in, we get, so not this. This is actually wrong. Let me go ahead and check that on a calculator. So we get 2.6 degrees per second. It's 2.6 degrees per second for the rate of change of the angle with respect to time, this angle right here. So I skipped um, the third part of number one. I think that if you follow the same steps I did, you could do it on your own. But yeah, that's about it. If you have any further questions, go ahead and give me a private message. I hope you learned something. Goodbye.